YouTube, my name is Sarah if you didn't know, and today's situation is a little bit of a life update and part one of a moving vlog. Jumping right into things, I am moving. That's it, that's the life update. If you haven't been watching me for a while, here's a bit about my current living situation. I live in a two bedroom apartment with like a little like den type thing, the area that I'm filming in. I moved in here October, 2022 with my partner and it was always meant to be a six month long sublease. So now that we've hit the six month, we have had to find an apartment for us to move into more long term. As most places in the world, the rental market is crazy. Since the beginning of March, we have been messaging nonstop, checking out ads, emailing, phone calling, and it was really hard to get people to respond. So when we finally got a couple responses, we went and toured a couple different spots. It literally ended up being like three different apartments. And one of them, we showed up to our appointment and they said it was already rented. So that was kind of weird. Basically, we ended up finding our apartment the unit that we saw first, we ended up putting in an application and getting accepted. So we get possession of that apartment on April 1st. And so we're going to basically start packing at this point and cleaning things up, decluttering all that good stuff all at the same time. I wanted to bring you along because I'm going to be decluttering my closet, which is going to be a big deal. The very first thing that we're gonna do is start with some like accessories, bags, and you're gonna be a part of that. Let's get right into it. Okay, so this is my bag rack. These are all of my fanny packs, my tote bags, my backpacks are on the floor. So I'm gonna go through these and decide which ones I need to and don't need to keep. I'm also gonna change my shirt because this is really hot, so be right back. Okay, I am back with a better shirt on. I know there's stuff in all of these bags that I need to clean out, so while I'm picking which ones I'm keeping and getting rid of, I'm also going to be taking stuff out of the bags. Majority of my bags are from Lululemon because I used to work there. So I have a lot of random athletic bags and fanny packs, stuff like that. And I didn't think I was gonna have this hard of a time getting rid of more than I did, but I actually had a really hard time narrowing down what I wanted to keep and get rid of. So I feel like I have more than I want, but I'll show you what I ended up keeping in the next clip. These are all the bags that I'm keeping. I'm really on the fence if I should keep this fanny pack because I have a lot of fanny packs and I tend to reach for my bigger ones. So yeah, I think that has to be a no. I'm also getting rid of this fanny pack because I have it in black and I don't see myself using the red more than black. This one's just old and I also have multiple black fanny packs and bags, so that's a no. Getting rid of this gym bag. I have two other ones, one that I like more. Okay, easy enough. Now I need to do the hard stuff, which is go through my closet. That is one side of my closet. This is the other side of my closet. I also have this area of stuff, all my leggings sweaters and more sweaters as well as clothes that's not put away and laundry so i have a lot of clothes and i'd like to get rid of some i'm gonna start with shorts i guess okay that is my shorts pile let's get to trying on to see what we're going to keep let me start off by saying that shorts are probably my least favorite clothing item. I never feel comfortable in them, especially denim shorts. But I also live in a place where I don't wear shorts that often because it doesn't get super hot here for very long in Canada where I live. So I feel like every year I buy shorts in like the winter or fall when they're on sale or something. And then by the time spring and summer come around, they never fit. 
So if you're like me and that happens, just know that that's completely normal and it's not our fault. It is a short conspiracy theory about why they tend to not last more than a season in size. So you know what? Just don't even bother with shorts. Who cares about shorts? I mean, I don't know. I personally don't like shorts, but I do have quite a few, as you can see. But denim, denim shorts really are just the rudest of them all. Athletic shorts, though, stretchy ones. Let's do more of those. Okay, so this is the pile of keep, and I'm going to be getting rid of these four pairs of shorts. This is kind of a just for now. Hopefully I can pare this down even more, but that's all I could bear to part with right now. Now I'm gonna go through all of my bottoms in terms of pants and skirts. I do have a couple more in like the laundry or things that I've bought recently enough that I know I'm not gonna get rid of. So this is the pile to do right now. Pants are the thing that I buy the most of, especially wide leg pants. I feel the most comfortable in them and I feel like it makes my body look the most proportionate. So I probably have out of all my pants, at least 80% of them are wide leg, so in some variety look pretty similar, so it's hard to narrow down which ones I should get rid of because I like them all a lot. I never buy tops, even though you're gonna see later in this video, I have a lot of tops, but I have way more pants and bottoms, so this is definitely the hardest section. I also find that pants are so expressive and there's so many patterns and colors that look nice that I don't think look as nice as tops on me. So yeah, this was definitely the hardest section and I did not get rid of as many pants as I needed to. I carried far too many of them into my next home, but that's okay because I wear them all the time, of course. You have to wear pants. That's the rules of life. So yeah. Okay, this is the section of things I'm keeping for sure. Although I do want to get rid of one more pair of jeans. So I'll keep my eyes on those. I have multiple pairs of cords and I love them. I have these leather pants that I really like. These, I was too lazy to try on, but I know that for like hiking and stuff, I like these. And then I just have skirts and some other more random items and then I was able to definitively say that I'm getting rid of five pair of pants and then these three items two skirts and pants they need to be altered or hemmed so if I want to keep those I need to do that and if I don't do that I'm getting rid of them no it is actually a new day because I ran out of sunlight and energy trying on pants in the last clip that you saw so now I'm gonna move on to trying on all my tops When I worked at Lululemon, the thing I most often bought was sweaters. So majority of my sweaters are from Lululemon and this was really hard to narrow down. I used to be obsessed with the perfectly oversized crew neck. It's basically just a super basic sweater and I bought them in so many different colors because I love the way that they fit and so getting rid of those is really hard for me. Also, there was a time where I bought so many cropped sweaters, even though I don't like cropped sweaters because I have a larger chest, so the sweater ends up being just basically a boob cover instead of a sweater. So those, I got rid of a lot of cropped sweaters, but overall, I find that you can always convince yourself you need another sweater. So this was also a hard category for me to get rid of.
one, two, three, four, five things in the getting rid of. I'm on the fence about this one, but I have said this like three times in a past closet clean out, and so I think I just need to get rid of it. As you can see, we've made it to more sweaters. These are just slightly different sweaters, a little bit more dressy, knit sweaters, less of the in the house relaxing, more of the potentially leaving the house sweater, and cardigans. These are definitely my guilty pleasure whenever I go thrift shopping. I love a little grandma knit inspired cardigan, and then I never end up wearing them. So I did need to get rid of a few of these because they end up just taking space but this is a style I really wanna get into, so I need to start wearing more of those. And then, yeah, just more sweaters, more sweaters. I have too many sweaters, that's a given. So maybe I lied when I said that jeans were the hardest to get rid of. These outerwear blazer jackets for me are actually the hardest to get rid of. Because I don't wear them very often, I feel like I can always convince myself I need them. Also dresses, which you'll see in a moment. I just don't go out that often because I work from home. So I have a lot of dresses, blazers, lighter coats that I'm like, one day I might wear this but I need to stop doing that. But today is just getting rid of stuff so that I can move easier. In the future, I need to do more of an actual, like, what is my style? What do I wear? But I didn't get there today. I had to keep majority of this because I feel like one day I might just need it. We've gotten to the last section in the closet clean out, which is my shirts, long sleeve, short sleeves, tank tops. Again, I wear sweaters a lot, so this was hard to do too, but I did end up getting rid of more than I thought. But overall, thank you so much for watching. I hope you joined along and got rid of some stuff as well. Let me know by commenting down below what you find hardest to get rid of or an item that you think I should get rid of without hurting my feelings. But make sure to subscribe, like, and comment if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, this is everything I've cleaned out of my closet, as well as this pile. So, quite a bit of stuff, and stuff that I didn't think I would ever really get rid of, so that's nice. But then this is all of my tops and sweaters. There's also laundry under there, so I don't have that many tops and sweaters. But that's everything I'm keeping for now. And I'm gonna have to package that up. And this is all the hanging stuff that I'm keeping for now. Mm -hmm.